All right, welcome back to Imperial Advisor. We're in Tabletop Simulator. And we've got still the same Baz, Justin, and Owen uh, with me. And we've got our little setup here uh, with all our little bits and pieces. And I think we're we're just going to run through and sort of just talk our way through it a little bit uh, as we go. Uh, and yeah, that's the plan. So, shuffle stuff. So I need to set my province cards. So you notice each player is starting with five different provinces and are going to basically uh, put one under the stronghold and then the other four make up your four provinces. Okay, so we've got our seven fate each, and I've got 11 on our Baz has 12. Uh, we draw a hand of four uh, conflict cards. And so uh, just for uh, mm -hmm. explanation, these are decks. Did you put these together, Baz? Yes. So there's yeah, sort so of a, the yeah. It's lion, unicorn, and crab versus crane, phoenix, and dragon. They seemed like the nicest fit. Yeah, and scorpion is the odd one out. Poor scorpion. Uh, and that goes on there. All right. Uh, so anything else we need to do in setup? Okay, I'm having uh, a bit of a, I have a bit of a freeze on my end, so I might need to, to to come out and come in again. So give me one second here. All right, I'll make some dice. All right, roll C goes first. So you're determining randomly who goes first. Yep. So I got a nine. Baz got eleven. I got an eleven. All right, so I'll reveal some provinces. So we both do this simultaneously, as, as I understand. So have you both performed your mulligan? Uh, no. We have not. We have not. Um, so mulligan happens with both simultaneously, I take it, then? Is that... Must be in order for it. Um, yeah, I'm assuming must. the way it works is I'm just going to take these two cards um, I'm going to shuffle them back in and then I'm going to grab two new cards. It might be the case that we draw new cards first, but who knows. We need to shuffle it first. And... Right. Interesting. And what was the basis on your decisions, out of curiosity? Um, why did I get rid of what I was getting rid of? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I, I really like the Lion's Pride broader. Um, the, the ability is fantastic. And the Matthew Berserker is ni nice and cheap. So I was keeping those two and just seeing what else would turn up. Yeah, I'm kind of tempted to try and get rid of Get rid of him as he's a little bit expensive at this point. And I think I might get rid of her based on what I've got in my hand. Yeah, that Asara was mental though. He's so much. He's really good. Yeah, I was I was locked in the, the mindset of oh it's five rings, presence and uh, you know, you have to be present in the battle to yeah. do anything. And if this guy can just sit there going, nah, blow you up, blow you up, then you know, it could be worth keeping in the early game because he's just going to sit there exploding your opponent's early attacks. Um, so, first action, yeah, I mean, I, 
I'm going to keep my hand and yeah. So if I was paying five for a Lion Clan uh, Brawler there, or rather paying three and putting two face on it. Uh, I'm going to make Brush Samurai with two. All right, and then I'm going to make the Matsu Berserker paying one and adding on fate. And just like that, Baz is out of fate. Boom, gone. So what do we got? Copy that one, Cola. It's a uh, better art. Oh, thanks. I mean, I don't know about anybody else, but I am feeling emotions right now. <laughs> It's interesting, isn't it? It really is. Uh, you know, I mean, obviously, uh, when the five rings, well, when the when the announcement of the sale came, it was it was kind of it was out of nowhere, and it was quite a body blow. Um, but I'd gotten really quite used to uh, five rings not being a part of my life. <laughs> um, you know, after a couple of years and seeing it again now is just yeah many fields <laughs> okay i'm gonna keep one fight back uh you're you said you're done last time around didn't you oh looks like uh, baz is that's baz disconnected again no he he made a guy you made a guy he made a guy you made a guy so it's, it's back to him so yeah okay uh, he is out of fate, though, so I presume he's going to pass. Yes, and he will pass and steal the fate uh, and get a fate back. Oop. Uh, Leaving him on the heady heights of one fate. Yeah. To your one fate. Exactly. Now, oh. could you have power played that cola and been like, actually, one pass is enough? Just yeah. enough. Pass. You could, yeah, I think. But, uh, that was definitely, uh, it, it was an option. I guess I was a bit wary of leaving myself uh, too bare this early in the game. Especially against the military bruisers that are the lion fan. Yeah. And that ability to to bump uh, to bump guys uh, plus one, plus one. Was it, or just plus one military, I should say. Yeah. Off the stronghold is pretty uh, pretty good. Although that said, I mean you're in a you're in a pretty good position all in all. That brash samurai is brash samurai is great. Yeah, my goodness. I mean, I also, uh, yeah, I think he's also a great early game because because he likes fighting alone, um, and it's. I felt the the whisper was a nice compliment to that because if he's going to fight, probably militarily. Uh, I got the option of doing getting a second conflict political off the uh, Dirty Whisperer. Yeah. Um, he's a... Okay, well, I can I can actually take over. I, yeah, I was going to say, actually, one of you guys could jump in. Um, okay, now, so hang on a Now that you've seen my hand. <laughs> well, no, I, that's... No, I'm, I, I'm, I joking, even, I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't even know what it is. Okay, so if I rotate, and now I am... Oh, actually, can I pick up as of stuff? Yes, I can. Should be able to. Okay, so I am the first player. Um, my hand is upside down, so but that's okay. I can read it. So you, it is now the draw phase. Oh, uh, it is the draw. So you, yeah, you must both pass. choose a value uh, on your fate wheel. So, uh, boxes, yeah, so these are hidden boxes, boxes yeah, that I can't see anything you've got in that box. So if you uh, take a token out. And have it okay. Uh, oh, do, uh, uh, if it. you flip that over and then pull it out, I won't see what it is. Mm. Yeah. All right. So I will give you two honor. Yeah. Enjoy. Don't okay. spend it all on the one shot. So I get to pull this to my hand. <laughs> And, 
and uh, then we just... draw our cards. So I've drawn my five. Okay. And then we move to You're the conflict, conflict stage. stage. So there are is an option if you want to do any actions before declaring any conflicts. Yeah, there are action windows here. If you wish to take an action. And it goes no, back. I'm okay on actions, I think. Uh, For the time being. Yeah, as uh, am I. So you've got the first conflict. If you, okay. Need, if you need a little helper, so, there's a little card here you can uh, check to remind you of the. Uh... Oh no, it's it's okay. So uh, I, well, okay, so I may as well do something. Um, so we may as well go. Okay, so the situation is, if I want to make, yeah, yeah, actually, you know. I may as well just attack. There ain't no reason not to. Best yeah. tradition of the Lion Clan. I, I also feel the game really incentivizes attacking in terms of how quickly, as the game was on, claiming fate offerings and things like that. Yeah. Guys, you should leave your bids in view because it will be might be relevant for cards. That's true. Okay. So. Okay, well, I am I am immediately in a bit of a tactical bind because the Matsu Berserker cannot attack or defend into uh, a political conflict. Now, you have a brash samurai, so actually declaring a political conflict. Well, I can see what the I can see the 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 the, the cognitive load and decisions already. This is this is crazy. Um, Okay, so you can honor, I can attack. Right, well, I'm just going to attack. There's no reason not to militarily. I can't beat you with one guy, probably. Um, so you've got to pick first uh, like which conflict you're doing, yep. which ring you're doing, and which province you're going after. So you merely okay. have three choices here. Oh, sorry, yeah. and, and also who's a, yeah, assigned. Right, so we've got a prodigy and a prodigy. Okay, so I am going to declare a military conflict. I'm going to assign both my guys to your leftmost, well, to, to this province here. Um, and I am going to make it, now this is interesting. I am going to make it a, Fire conflict, I think. Interesting. All right, Cola, you get the sign to defend. If you wish. Uh, pretend, and I think what me and Baz are playing was that they've said there's a penalty. I think we said we lose one honor if. Uh, if you don't assign any defenders, but we're not entirely sure that that's uh, been confirmed. So, well, it makes sense to some small penalty. Yeah, I mean, I think if it was one fate, that'd be incredibly punitive. So, I don't know. Could yeah, be. it was something that was mentioned by Brad in the the latest talk. He didn't go into details. He kind of got cut off, but he did say that. There would be a loss for not defending. Yeah, I th it was. I, I think it was mentioned in the context of honor, or they've been talking about honor. I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, they were. They were talking about honor running. That's what they were doing. Yeah. Yeah, and that there was a penalty for that if you didn't defend. So I think we're just assuming that you lose an honor. Or, yeah. So it's the question here. Uh, so I'll assign no defenders. So All you're right. going to assign no defenders. Okay, so you get to flip the province to see what it is. Well, actually, I think I do that before I choose. Well, is that correct? Before I assign defenders, I, the province flips? Uh, I don't know. I think we thought that was the Ooh. case from something. Brutal. Endless Plains. 
Uh, react, reaction after an attack is declared here break this province your opponent chooses an attacking character discard that character okay but the province is going to be broken anyway so you won't be able to break it no I think no, it's, it's as a reaction to your attack I break it oh, after an attack is, oh you break it as a reaction and ah. I discard this guy <laughs> okay yeah yeah fair enough no that's interesting no 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 no, no. Your uh, that, opponent that's just an attacking character, buddy. Uh, that seems less obscene. <laughs> I think me and Bass may have gotten that real wrong on a previous occasion. Yeah, no, that, so that would be a So who do you want to discard there? Jeez, I don't know. Let me think. Goodbye, Mr. Berserker. It's how he wanted to go. Yeah, absolutely. Or on a plane. She? It's a he. Never know if there's Matsu. Okay, so he is discarded. So, the promise so, is broken. Uh, something I wasn't sure of on this card is that does this reaction of breaking the province make the conflict successful? So does, does he get all the other benefits of claiming the ring, etc.? I wouldn't say so. It's like winning the conflict is separate to breaking the province. Yeah, I think so. You, you'd break it, but the conflict still runs. So if you've got like stuff that can move a guy in or move guys in, then you could still batter me. Uh, so the conflict still the... continues after this? Yeah, so I would say the conflict is still going. So I have right. three strength versus your two. Actually, it doesn't matter because the, like, it's already broken. Yeah, so, so you're going to have... win this conflict. I'm going to so pass. I... Okay, well, in that case, I will also pass and I will dishonor your uh, brash samurai. Uh, that's three. Yeah. Okay. It's dishonored briefly. And now you go home bad? How do you bow something in this? Uh, if you Q or E. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I would encourage you to see on the uh, top right of your menu bar, there's like a degree angle thing. Uh, it yeah. might say 10 degrees or something like that. I have mine set to 90, so everything flips 90 degrees each time I press Q Thank or E. God. Perfect, so got it. Thank you very that. much. That it's a bit easier. So you will claim that. I will claim the fire, the fire token. Okay then. So fortunately, be... Justin is now defenseless. Yeah, yes. yeah. I mean, there's not, there's not, there's not much I can do, but. Uh... Uh, I will declare an attack into your. Outrider. And it will be an attack of the sort. Mm. Actually, I think probably attacking on the first turn was a mistake, but. Yeah, I mean, like, let's. Uh, I think let's be upfront and say we're going to make lots of mistakes here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. I, I certainly know putting my uh, gameplay to the speculation of the internet will uh, result in my shame. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to do a void uh, military here. Yep. Oop, sorry. So, uh, as a def so I think your province flips. Ah. This plane's... Deja vu. Yeah, well, uh, I will break this. Uh... An attacking character, so I have to choose this guy. Yeah, so he gets killed. And he's dishonorably killed. Oh. Yay, amazing. That was not the plan. Actually, um, <laughs> yeah? Uh, boom, 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 boom. I'm just checking the conflict rules here, or the, what we've seen of them. Uh, Justin, you had the option of discarding... Uh, oh, that's true. Mirror oh, yeah, yeah, and I would have. Get out. Yeah. Fair enough. And similarly, yeah, yeah, you can you can break yeah, the, but but the the province is broken, so the courier would get ditched automatically at the end of the turn anyway. Yeah. Sweet. But I think it's important for killing holdings and stuff where you don't want them hanging around. Yeah, and obviously guys who key off that. Uh, so he is discarded. Yep. With my precious fate. Uh, I've lost, I'll lose this to honor. Uh, 
perilously close to zero. I know it's uh, you're gonna have to gonna have to do some decisions. Uh, I'll have, I'll discard the outrider. Yeah, lion dishonor, not a meme. Well, it's funny. Me and Baz had a game where the sec the first time we played, we were just bidding five first couple of turns, and then I bid a one on the second turn, and suddenly that four on our swing kind of makes you have yeah. to think what you're doing after that. Uh, okay, but and I get the ring? No, I don't. No, you don't. You don't win it. So. I do not. That's just rude. Um, okay. Okay, but now you can go and uh, you can courtier me right in the chops. Um, I'm wondering if I'm actually better off doing a military conflict with my courtier. I can't. No, uh, yeah, you declare so, it already. Uh, let's go into the Wandering Ronin with a political conflict. Uh, okay. And I need oh, to hang on. Type... I, sorry. I should have lost honor for not being able to defend. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I lose more honor for not being able to defend, to defend. Although we don't know if this is actually the, the rule, but we're just going to play it yeah. that way. Um, I guess I'll go for it again. Uh, this time. Can you? It seems like it's unclaimed. Which one? Void. So, so he went. For, so he he went for a void challenge and didn't make it on his first go. Can he choose mm. void again? Hold on. Let's see what the what the rules have been revealed. Um... I, I don't think you can do it again. I think it's basically been the, the, it's been the claimed attempt, at this stage. The attempt for the turn is yeah. so okay. So that's not yeah. So you can pick so now who up. wins it is the question. Hold on. But no, he did well. He didn't win it. Only the attacker. Well, oh yeah, yeah, true. I don't know. It's, that's a good. That's yeah. I'm not sure if. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's it's these kind of little niceties that we'll need yeah. to we'll need There's to quite a little bit. Someone in chat is pointing out that the Lion's Pride Ball Brawler, his action can be used so while he was attacking, you could have just bowed someone not in the conflict. Oh, oh wow! I didn't yeah, realize yeah, that at all. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's yeah. Pretty... It's not just to go there. Boom. I'll remember that. Now. Thank you very much, Jeff. I will uh, yeah. do that next turn. Well done, soldier yeah, token. Is, I suppose this is this is this is the, the baggage of having played L five R before, or having played it for so long, is that your the the rule of presence is so well, presence and relevance are so ingrained that uh, it's pretty hard to shake them. Um, okay, so we're saying that's not that, so I'll, uh, don't honor. I'll do Earth. Okay. Just to keep moving. Uh, so province will flip. Shameful display. During a conflict of this province, choose two participating characters, honor one of those characters, and dishonor the other. Uh, well, I can't choose two, so that's just going to not happen at all. Yeah, it seems like it's worded like a cost. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, I'd say so. Jesus, provinces actually fall pretty quickly in this game, don't they? And that's a three strength, so I'm taking that province. Yeah, you're breaking it at the moment. If you're going to break it. So it's your first action. Um, I am going to have to pass. Uh, okay, then I'll pass. Okay, so uh, it gets broken, so we'll 
I'm going to flip it down. Oops. So I'll discard this guy. Oops, sorry, he gets discarded. Oh. There we go. And that gets refilled. Hey. Cola, you get to discard. Uh, yes. Yeah, so, so uh, just discard your rightmost card. This one? Yeah. Ooh. Ah. Okay. Uh, so you haven't declared any more conflicts that so were finished conflict stage? Uh, I think so. So we go to the fate stage. Uh, so we determine imperial. the imperial favor, yeah, which is rings plus untapped glory, which is um, equal, which is a tie. So no one so gets no it. one gets it. Uh, we remove um, fate or discard characters. Sorry, go on. Now. Yeah, yeah. So just uh, we take a fate away from each character with fate on it, and discard anybody who has another fate. Uh, we add fate to unclaimed rings. Oh, okay. Um, and then you ready all your stuff and gain seven fate. Cool. We start again. And first player is now Cola. And oh yeah, this this uh, checker was our first player token, by the way. In case you're wondering what the hell that was. Oh yeah, no problems. Should I get seven there? No, I had one, and then I've got six. Seven. 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 Yeah, okay. And it's two provinces broken to one. This could end fast. Well, yeah, it's interesting. Like, but I... feels bad. Yeah. yeah, if I hadn't been such a fool with the um, with the Lion, Lion's Pride Brawler, I'd be in a much happier position. I'd be mm -hmm. all over the shop. I'd I'd have the Imperial favor. I'd only I'd have I'd have lost one province. Okay, so we flip our cards. And it was with that, it was the last time Justin Walsh ever made a mistake in Old Hobo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wish I could say that. Ooh, okay. So we got a line up a dragon, and yeah. one crane for Cola, and definitely a bit more of a military focused one. Yep. Yeah. Okay, my first action. I really like this uh, Agasha Swordsmith as well. I think he's really good. Yeah, a Seeker of Enlightenment doesn't look bad though. No, I, I mean I think that said, my first one will be Seeker of Enlightenment with Two Fate. I sort of, uh, I find Two Fate is what I want to do most of the time. Although it's you, re you generally can only really do it for. Uh, one guy. Hang on, I'm. You should have another fate. I should have another fate. I think I maybe. Ooh. I won't take the whole back. Oh, hang on. There's uh, there's two in that stack. That's what's going on. Uh, so yeah, just. Okay. It's just uh... work off a Yasuki, another map of berserker. Um, yeah. I and he uh, flipped his holding, or well, one of his holdings. I did, which is great, because that means my Azuki is now active. Yep. With his card drawing shenanigans, so I will... Buy the Azuki, and I will put... I will put two fate on him, leaving me with four. Oh my god, is that Secret of Enlightenment a two cost four four? Jesus. Well but less less initially. The first attack, yes, absolutely. Well well it depends what you uh try to claim, I suppose, as well. Yeah. Anyway, it is okay. your action. You have to sort of almost work backwards from thinking what fate do I want to have left over in my hand and what can I spend otherwise uh, okay I'm gonna go uh, 
this gentleman. Which gentleman? Uh, the swordsmith, yeah. Uh, That's all your... No? Uh, I'm just... I'm just uh, maybe I'll... Uh, yeah, okay. I'll uh, keep one back. Okay, so you're keeping one back. Yeah, I have four at the moment. Let's see. So you have... So it's with the, 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 someone very big. You are going first. Okay, I will throw out another random berserker. Uh, and I will pass for Thank one fate. Be damned. So is that Berserker all by itself with no fate? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is that a problem? <laughs> right. He's disposable. Uh, he's disposable, yeah. I mean, hopefully I'll run in and break a province or something with him this turn. On his own some... Uh, okay, so I've passed and taken one fate. Okay, and I will also buy this dude, and I will put one fate on him. He's three cost. Is he three cost? Yep. Oh, he is. Oh, that's terrible. Okay, no, we're gonna, we're gonna, <laughs> no, we're not gonna do that. In that case, he, he can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're, you need one more, yeah. Yeah. So I have, so I have three. Okay. Okay. So we are on to. to so in that case, actually, cardinal. I will stick one fate on the old berserker there. Cool. So pick your tokens, gentlemen. Ooh, give me your honor, baby. That's a one. Yeah. 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 Okay. Leave it out. Leave it out. Oh, sorry. Yeah. There it is. Take mm, it. Delicious. It's. I think with these decks, that's sort of thing that it's quite hard to punish, um, potentially. Yeah. But later on. Yeah, later on. I suspect that will be a lot less true with uh, purer, if more efficient decks. Just to point out that it is fantastic to have hand sizes in this virtual environment, but I'm not sure how we're going to hold them in real life. <laughs> Yeah, the no hand Google limit is an hand. interesting choice. I'm saying on cardio, cardio, cardio. <laughs> uh, okay, conflict phase. First, yeah, the first rule. Now you have all the hard decisions. I can just sit back and really, you know, not sweat it in the least. <laughs> Two seconds later. Oh, damn it. Yeah, oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, the agony. Actually, the uh, tension here is does he go for the cheap? Fate, or yeah. does he go yeah. before oh, that? I'm going to use a, a gaseous wordsmith's action, okay? Uh, so to awkwardly search through a bunch of cards, uh, yeah. Whoa, whoa. There is one weapon, so I will take the weapon. What is it? It is. Oh, hang on, when the touch character would leave play, discard this attachment instead, okay. So it's just like a fate, basically. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. I can uh, see that card being played a lot in the early days of this game. It's a uh, crab one influence uh, card. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. So one influence is good, but you'd have to let all those stinky crab into your deck. I know. But critically, it also works against other stuff, like discard uh, your dude. Yeah. Ah, uh, interesting. Hadn't thought of that. And it, it could stop a crane honored personality from being discarded, winning them the game. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So By yourself a turn. Uh, so I still have to make a decision, right? Uh, okay. I guess I will go. 
Oh, you've got a big hand. Um, I do kind of miss not being able to split at several provinces at once. <laughs> oh, we'll get there. We'll get there. We will. We will. Yeah, it's a real tension when you're declaring first about you kind of think, oh, I'll just send everyone in there, but then you could that would get be a double yeah, swing. That would be, yeah, that would be an awful, awful mistake. Uh, okay, I will declare a. Um, Politics or military? Pol political uh, fire into here with these two guys. So political fire, yeah. No, actually, sorry. Can I change that? I'm going to do Oop, political... Yeah, you found my weak spot. I think I need oh. to take... I think I need to take the fate. So I'll do that. Okay, so you're going for void into their political. You have three, four, five. So you have five political value. I have at best four... So your province will flip first, and then you can decide. I think oh, and what. Oh, then, then I can decide what yeah, I'm doing. Yeah, based on that. So. And it is defend the wall reaction after you win a conflict at this province. Resolve the ring. Oh, oh, wow! So I'm really incentivized to try and to try and win this. The other interesting thing is you can use the holding there to bump yeah. your strength. And I think I might just be doing that. I don't think I can stop the. Fate. So I'm not going to defend. So that's going to go away. I'm going to lose one honor. Yep. Um, and defender has the first action. Yep. Okay. I will switch this with this. Nope. Wrong way. Oh, nope. Wrong card. Wrong. Oh, stupid. Oh no. It's all gone horribly wrong. <laughs> Oop, there we go. Okay. Manly six problem strength. Oh, it feels good. To I'm my not gonna lie. Feels real good. Puny five strength. Mm-hmm. Surely you have a pump there, uh... It's one of the interesting things is that of the cards that have been revealed, there is a lot fewer political pumps than there are military pumps. Yeah, it's almost all military pumps. Yeah. Uh so I'm going to have to do a bit of that. Ooh, uh, as a political pump. It's an expensive one. Indeed. But wow. critically as well, you also have the option to resolve the air element. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, well there's nothing I can do about that, so I am going to pass. So, how does this work then with the air element? I could... <laughs> So you could, sure. instead of resolving the void, you could resolve the air. So you could resolve it as an air conflict if you want. So you could either gain two honor or gain one and make me lose one. And now that you're you're breaking your third province, this is exactly the right time to switch to honor running. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep my void. That's what unicorn do, right? So I presume the this guy is losing one. Uh... Or actually, or no, the lion's pride. She might lose one. Yeah, I think the lion's pride. Okay. So these guys looking grim. So do you have any fate? You do not. Okay, so you have that claimed. Okay, so he's now a three three. Uh but, yes. attack, but your attack may make him a two two. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we have Honor Dishonor, Straighten a Dude. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go um, military into your rightmost with the Matsu and, well, with both these guys. And we're going to make it an air challenge, or we're going to make it a water challenge. I will take my uh, I will take my fate. That's that's still an air. Is it an air? Derp. Whoop. 
So water would let you straighten the guy, I think. Straighten the guy, but you wouldn't be able to. Str I think it resolves. Well, this is what we were discussing. That it resolves before oh, right. uh, the guys go home. So yeah, we we think what happens is it will resolve before you're about to break the props. So there would be an advantage if you get bowed. Yeah, you could still win while we're in the conflict while about untap unbow your other guy then break problems um, but yeah in this situation it's probably not it's, not, it's just it's useless um so oh man cards in hand billions uh so we will go with the thing is with <laughs> you, you want to go with air you want to get that fate yeah. you want to strength yeah <laughs> yeah did you take the fate already I did. Okay, cool. Sorry, I pulled them back on because we didn't know. Uh, it's okay. So we're, we're all good to go. Yeah. It's a learning curve. Yeah, absolutely. So this will flip, first of all. Elemental Fury. Oh, so you can change the element, should you wish. Oh, nope, you can change the ring. Oh, the ring, the ring. That's the element, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but I can't change the type like the Phoenix. No, not like the amazing Phoenix province. So... I'm going to make it water then. I don't think oh. the fake goes anywhere though. It just sticks on the ring. Is that correct? That's what we believe. That's yeah. what we've been playing. Okay. Because you didn't declare it. You just. You that is it. a reaction. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, defender wise, what have you got? You've got. Uh, so I have got six total uh, attacking force. Six. Well, six, six military strength attacking. And you have two military strength defending. Uh, if should you should you choose to defend. Now, this is something to point out. That water ring is now an un is a, now a contested ring, so it is not a unclaimed yeah. ring. So he's a mere oh, one so one. A, so he's a one one. Uh, if I don't leave him, he's just going to get bad by the lion's pride thing, isn't he? You, you may, may get well. better with the lion's pride thing, whatever you do, unless you find a way to pump him. So you may as well defend. Yeah, so I'm going to defend with him. Okay, so you have the first action. Oh yeah, so you have the first action? Uh, I will... Banzai. Banzai! And I okay. will lose an honour to do it twice. So. Okay, so that puts him up to five? Yep. Yeah. Okay. What I do find interesting is that Bonsai is free, but it's also max one per conflict, so you cannot chain them. Which is, yeah. Which I mean, that's because it's a that very card strong could, card. That card could be completely bonkers busted. Okay, my action will be... Oh, uh, yeah. It makes, me, it makes me kind of sad, but my action will be to attach uh, this here Far uh, fine katana... I keep calling it a fire katana, which is just wrong. But. Yeah, I'll attach it to um, the what's her face. Don't you what's her face to her face? She'll kick your ass. Yeah, she will. So, yeah, what's good. your strength now? Uh, her strength is now five. Ooh, ooh. We'll get there in the end. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Oh, this this interface. That's fine. Uh, we know what it is. She's going away at the end of the turn. So you've so got you eight make. strength to my uh, five, so you're not quite taking the province. I'll pass. Okay, so I will now use um, her ability. Uh, while this character is attacking, choose a character with equal or lower military skill than this character. Bow that character, and I will bow your, uh, your seeker. Okay. He fails to find enlightenment. Sure does. Pretty sure there's nothing I can do. All right, I'll pass. Okay, so that'll break the province. So the mechanics for discarding cards are a little bit weird. We think it's to do with holdings. So you can choose to discard that uh, Miramoto now if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, if you don't, she'll get discarded at the end of the turn anyway. So we think it's just to get a, a holding out of the way 
rather than letting it hang around for the next topic. Yeah, yeah, that makes yeah, that makes sense. Uh, cool. We'll just discard her now, just yeah. for. Okay, so um... you get to resolve water, which does nothing. Yeah, uh, no, it's air, isn't it? Was it? No, no it's, it's got switched switch to water. Oh, it's switched it to water, uh, which does nothing. Yep. So that's fine, and then I will declare. A, yeah, I will declare a political conflict. Um, yeah, I'll declare a political conflict here. So which uh, which ring are you going for? Oop. Oh yeah, and I will go for fire, I think is the one that makes most sense. Okay, so I've got to defend the wall. Okay. All right, hit. Uh, after you win a conflict, yeah, well... That's not going to happen. Okay, so no defenders for you. So you chuck a, you lose an honor. Uh, yeah. Um, and, and then yeah, I'm going to have to pass. Okay, so I'll you he'll use his action. Yeah. To take a look at two. Hang on, I'm just going to stick him in my hand because it's easier. I'll put a, I'll put one on the bottom in a second. Oh, so to put it on the bottom, what you need to do is place it on the board and then move the entire deck. Off. Yeah, no problems. Okay, these are both. Oh no! Oh. They're both they're both Onos. I, I thought only just two most of them spoiled. But um. Okay, so can I attach stuff to people who aren't in the conflict? I'm going to say yes. Yeah, we haven't seen anything about a rule of presence or relevance. Okay. Uh, no. Just hold it a little bit longer. When you yeah, it. got it. Yeah, so right now we need to get out of this uh, relevance idea and just play the big board as it is. Unless we're simply told not to. Okay. The ones that care seem to call it out. Yeah. Now, is is there a reason that you would? We think there's a break between conflicts where you get to play some more cards if you want. And if there's another conflict, you can always drop things. So. Yeah, true. Actually, no, there is an action phase, isn't there? Yeah. Or an action window. Um, so, uh, well, so you're, it's your first action, so you're going to pass. Yeah. I presume. Uh, yep. From my action, I am going to spend one fate and attach reprieve. Yep. Let's do, um, to this guy. Here. Buying yep. us a valuable extra turn of brawler. That's it. She's so good. She's so good. Really good. Yeah. It's interesting um, seeing a three cost person be. A real bruiser compared to some of the twos. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. This is quite a big step up in power. I mean, if a clan champion, I mean, they may probably not be much more than four, you'd expect, you know, if there's something really, really strong. Okay, and just as a yeah. I'm just, yeah. maybe you mentioned already, but I'm just seeing that comment that soldier token made in the Twitch chat. The fact that the line pride broader when attacking can bow someone outside of the conflict because it doesn't say anything about it. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um... You're going to win the conflict, but not the war. Yeah. But not um, the yeah, I'm gonna win the conflict, but I'm not gonna. But I'm break not gonna take it. So I'm not gonna break the province. So that gets that goes over here. Yep. Um. Is it is <laughs> political then? <laughs> is it? Does that it have to be? No, it is. It is. But but I like them when they're red. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so, uh, so it was okay, fire. So so, yeah, 
Oh, so you so get favorite. to honor or dishonor someone? So I will dishonor. I don't think it makes sense to dishonor too many of them, does it? Zero, two, do, 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 do. Or you could honor one of your guys to see that often. Or, I could, or actually, I could honor one of my guys. That's a much better idea. No, it isn't. <laughs> you could, you could put more to... eggs in that line pride basket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, why not? Well, actually, in fairness, yeah, I am going to honor. Yeah, so many cards. Look at that stack. Uh, okay, so you will get the favor, I believe. I will take the favor. And... I think you choose at this point in time which side you plus, want it. Yeah, well, I'm going to choose plus one to uh, to political conflicts. Cool. I think that's where I need my help. And we're going to get to the end of the turn. This got broken, didn't it? So this should be discarded. Uh, did it get broken? Yeah. Yeah, I, I took one. Got, I took one, yeah. You brought the girl in. And, uh, and both the three broken provinces. Okay. And critically, this means that Cola can slam into the stronghold. Uh, yeah. All right. So okay. conflict over fate. No. I've done the favor. We lose one fate off. How do I right. look at this card without seeing it? I'm put it in my hand. I'm gonna discard fate from guys. Right. So, one fate. Uh, discard, whatever, reprieve. There we go. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to put in the sticky feature with the with guys. Yeah, I wonder uh, how easy or hard that would be to do. Definitely doable. But, uh, yeah, I've seen uh, it in other games. It's just maybe beyond my uh, meager bad. skills. And you are not dishonored. You are honored. And that's gone. So Justin with a small but possibly significant economic edge here. Or yeah, could not. definitely superior board position with his uh, three provinces cracked. You can swing for the fences. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm not in a I'm not in a happy place at all. Um, and at, okay, at the so end of this turn, I'm two yeah. turns of the board is gone. Yeah. Okay, so we've done our fate. That's right. Ready our cards, discard unwanted dynasty cards. Do I want to keep Nirishima? Yeah. Okay. Well. This guy, yeah, this could be a this could be an important turn. So I think I want Mister Exploding. Um... Okay. <laughs> That's seven, is it? Yeah, I've got seven. Whoops. So one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And back in you go. There. So you've got first the first player. player. Just... First player, huh? That's where I was born to be. Do we flip provinces at the same time? For some reason, I feel they said. Yeah. Yeah. I doubt there's any reason to, to worry about order. Well, you might. Uh, yeah. Why can't I look at you, Conrad? Oh, there we go. These defending opponents cannot bow it or move it. Oh, so expensive, though. Okay, so... I am the first player. Sorry, I just need to take a look at what's over there. 
so many politicians is honor choose a character honor that character honor that character spend a fate on attacking and choose a face down okay Right, well, uh, okay, I will buy this guy, and I will put, that's two, and I will put one fate on him. This is the sort of period when you, you sort of have to start asking how much longer is the game going to go. Oh, I know, I know, I know. And it's kind of, if, if you guess that wrong, I think... Uh, depending yeah. on how all in on that decision you go. Guys, so you've got seven fate, do you? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so much to keep track of. Two, one, two, two. So you could put everybody out, but they would all die next turn. Yeah. Well, that might not matter. Go. You can swing for fences. All in on one. I may do that That's just. It. A... That's a five fate. Bam. No, uh, sorry, did I... Yeah, this guy, did I put any fate on him? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I've got two more guys leaving this turn. No, I'm actually going to put one on him. Uh, yeah, because you're, you're really hoping there is going to be another turn, Dustin. Yeah, I, re I really am. I really am. Although, in fairness, I could break one of his provinces this turn and then go straight for his uh, stronghold, so... Yeah. But, uh... I'm wondering how so all in I should go. If almost just for the sake of uh, keeping it, keeping the game. Uh, I'll, do, real? I'll do that. I'll be conservative. So you're putting putting one fate on, yeah? Yeah. Okay. See, one fate in some ways is the sweet spot because it doubles the value of the guy. Yeah. So on a one yeah. cost guy, it's kind of meh, but on a two or three cost guy, that's significant. Three. Okay. I am going to buy this crazy defender. She costs three. I will put one fate on her. So your stronghold is going to be the Phoenix stronghold. So I cannot go too politically all in on that, can I? Interesting. Dude, it's the Tugashi initiate. That fella can honor himself. He's pretty yeah, good. Jerk. Which then has synergy with the Secret of Enlightenment. And dragons and synergy, it doesn't seem right. Uh, I'm just going to do him bare. You're going for the easy honor? Key concern here is there is going to be at least one big battle. Where is all of that fate going to come from? Because you're going to want to play a lot of cards. So, so does Justice deny Cola? I should only have two fate, not three. Does he deny Cola here by going pass, grab the fate? Yeah, it could be worded. It's a serious consideration. Especially if he's got blackmail. Wait for a couple of big boosts, then blackmail him over to your side. So many, yeah. so many yeah. considerations. So, oh, there are, yeah, I mean, so many considerations, and I am going to pass and claim a fate. Hmm. Hmm. I think if you hadn't passed, I would have, but possibly now that you haven't, I you feel got, yeah, more incentivized to do something else. I don't know. <laughs> Now I'm gonna I'm gonna pass it. Okay. Powder being kept seriously dry here. Okay, so I've got some actions. If you want to do any. Uh, I will. I don't think so. Actually, I think I'll be passing my first option to take an action because that's conflict. Uh, no action there, but and that is while attacking. So, nope. I am fine. What's this? I'm going to remove Ooh. that ability. Oh wow, that's awful. I don't like you at all. 
Blame the seeker of knowledge. It should have been oh, the well. seeker of power. <laughs> that would have been the right choice. <laughs> One's at four, Jesus. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I pass. Um, yeah, I'll pass. Your first conflict. Oh no, we have to do I just drawing cards buddy oh whoa so many phases card drawing time yeah uh, oh, i just want to skip straight to the killing well, well that's just that's what we all want so one two three four five six i have seven honor one two yeah. I'm trying to remember what like I can get in my hand. All right. Oh, look at that! Great lines. Wow. You're each a card down. It's disgraceful. There's a limit. Like face really limits. Uh, I was like trying to think before I bid how many like zero cost things I uh, have. Okay, well, this is probably going to be a lunatic turn. Yeah, you can start us off then. I will, I will. I will declare a military conflict. Um, so, you do actually have the option to pass your first conflict, if you wish. I Which you lose do not. not the conflict then, don't you? Yeah, you'll, you'll still only be able to have one conflict, but it'll, it'll mean you'll be able to defend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. I'm going to send the people with. I'm going to send the the people with next to no military or next to no um, uh, political skill in an attempt to uh, to try and smash a province. So, um, oh no. Okay, so I will send the the berserker and this cluster of cards. <laughs> <laughs> this small village of cards and the berserker will head for what was this one the conflict was promised choose two participating characters honor one dishonor the other uh so i'm guessing that's the entire province for yeah. it seems like but there's no effect apart from letting him win the card and defense yeah that's four and uh, what's the problem strength this is three okay so uh yeah i'll send both these military guys at this province here for what ring? Uh, and the ring I shall choose will be one with uh, honor on it, and that will be. Uh, they're all pretty. Yeah, well, honor is on. pretty critical here because you can bow out one of those guys without fate. Sorry. Water is pretty critical here because you can bow a guy without fate. Oh yeah, so let's let's go with water. And I'll grab a fate. So that's uh, here. <coughs> and water is blue. <laughs> so it's these uh, guys. Yeah, those guys are going. You through. sort of put your Borderlands defender in front of your stronghold as though yeah, he might why. be defending there at some point. That seems so <laughs> wild. There's a chance. There's a, there's a distinct possibility. So uh, you've got so three. It's. Five, six, seven, eight, eleven strength. Uh, okay. Is there any merit in me trying to do that? Uh, Uh, okay, I will have no defenders. Okay. That's awesome. Uh, so, first action, I will 
you will lose an honor anyway. So. Yeah, I'll do that. It's okay, I, I chucked it over already. Uh, actually, it's worth defending with someone just to be able to honor them. Probably not. Uh, first action, I'm going to use a Gashes Swordsmith. Okay. Well, if you defend with the savvy politician, you can use her to honor somebody else as well. Oh, uh, that's a really good point, actually. But is, is that worth it? After this character you? is honored, is she going to get honored? At yeah. A shameful display. Okay. Yeah, okay, I might defend with her. That's a really good point. And now you are essentially trading in your 1 2 to. Yeah, I think. Get a 1 1 or, or you could save yourself a point of face to honor the Togashi initiate. Uh, and. I'll take that. Oh shit, just turned over my health eight deck. So I take a fine katana. Yep. Uh, okay, my first action, I'll honor politician. I'll actually, I'll remove the honor off this guy. And remove the honored, okay, yeah, no problem. And um, I'll honor. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna honor him, save my face. Think, sure thing. I think I will need it. Okay. Um, I will place reprieve on her again. Cool. Uh, I will pass. Uh, so I have 11 and you have much less. Yep. Okay. So I will, yeah, batter her. Yeah. I'll, and I am going to spend one face. Are you using the, uh, the yeah, brawn to the sword? sword. Sorry? No, you can't. Cloud the mind. I can't. She, she's uh, got the, the uh, spell on her. It's not different using abilities. So. And I will play Fallen in Battle on your um, savvy politician to kill her. Gain that key point of honor. And from winning water, uh, Justin can bow one yeah, of. I'm going to bow this guy. Okay, okay. Actually, water's a lot better than uh, than I thought it was, and Earth is a lot worse. Actually, I think Earth is really a dishonor. Card. Yeah, yeah, I think I think situationally it's very good, but. Uh... Yeah. I think when fate decks are more, or sorry, conflict decks are, are tighter and more usable. Yeah, uh, it'll be a lot more. Well, uh, well, I'm only on three cards left. Oh God, I lost a card. Yeah. This is the worst. Yeah, yeah oh, I mean, if, it, if we assume they're all zero cost, two force pumps, discarding a card and drawing a card essentially is a, a four force or four skill switch. So that's not too bad. And as we were talking about earlier, it's just another paper cut. And if you need, you need to build up yeah. enough of them. I mean, there's also uh, there's a card, Spies at Court, which uh, if you win a political conflict, you can dishonor a guy to make your opponent discard too. So if they're trying to stay tight on uh, honor bids and you sort of discard a few, they kind of get pretty stuck. Okay, uh, so, what am I going to have? Uh, I'm going 
going to do uh, a mm, void protocol entry stronghold for these three. Okay. Dun dun dun. That's a shock. <gasps> so, um, that's an action as well, not a reaction. That's fine. Yep. So you can assign defenders. So assign defenders. No, I'm not going to assign defenders. None? No. Okay. So. Uh, you know how this game works, right? Yeah. All right. Pretty sure. Unless I have a horrific blunder, which is not entirely out of character. <laughs> Do I, I, during a conflict with this province, select one. Switch the contested ring with an unclaimed ring. Ha 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 ha. Or switch the conflict type, which is the broken effect. So oh, I have right. five political skills. I'm not taking the province at the moment. Stronghold. Yep. Um, so it is a void ring. Um, yeah, I am going here. You're not taking it. So I'm going to pass. Oh, actually, am I going to pass? Yeah, I'm going to pass. I'm going to pass. Seeker. Seeker of knowledge for the win? Uh, I, I mean, the second Seeker of knowledge for the win. No, not so much. Um, this is the issue with political attacks. Don't think I've got yeah, any cer certainly, at, certainly at the moment. Yeah. I actually, uh, if you want to switch to military, I have like a shit ton of stuff I can do. <laughs> yeah, with I really these, don't. like with my total of. Uh... Oh, I hang on. Sorry. Um, hang on. She is three three. Three. Sorry, I was miscounting. She's three three, four five six seven. So I am taking it. Oh, you are taking the province. Oh, sorry, sorry, I was going to add my unclaimed uh, ring. In that case, I was spent face. three face. And I will blackmail. Yoink. Blackmail secret knowledge. Okay. Dun dun dun. Do do do. Um. Yeah, I think I'm boned. Okay, I'll pass. Um, I, I presume I am winning the conflict now, yeah. Okay. So at the moment, it's you're winning the conflict. I may as well make it uh, military then. I'll make it a military conflict. Okay. Actually, do I even need to bear this? I don't think so. It's just an action. Just an action. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll make it a military conflict. So you've got... We, we might... No, 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 that's that's insane. No, I don't do that. Don't do that. Feel free to keep it. I'll take an action. I'll take an action. Oh, no, I couldn't have done that. <laughs> you sure? Sure? sure you yeah, no, we'll, 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 keep, we'll keep it as political. You can, you can take a void off one of my characters. Seek of enlightenment? <laughs> yeah, I'll... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Take it off him. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, I've got all these uh, fire katanas ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking, like, no, wait a second, you're just going to be enormous. In fairness, I have much the same in my hands, but, uh, but uh, yeah, let's not be, no. let's not be foolish about this. Cool. Okay, so you get the void ring, so that's yours claimed. <laughs> Okay, and I will declare a political challenge against your stronghold. Cool. Uh, uh, have you? You've only taken two provinces. 
Uh, I should have broken three because I broke uh, one earlier this turn uh, yeah, at uh, the uh, uh, military. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, so you have. Uh, so I will. I have seven. Oh, look at look at that! <laughs> Do you want to make it military? Uh, so okay, so you've got seven at the moment to my six. Uh, what type is it? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Um, I suppose I should. Uh, what type is it? Oh no, I've got seven because I've got I've got more because I have the imperial favor. Okay, it says eight. Uh, yeah. I am going to take the air ring. Oh no, the water ring. I'm going to take the water ring. No, okay. did I already take the? Ring? You've already you taken the water ring. Oh no, because I bowed it. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Derp. Um. So mountain, not a big deal. Air, not a big deal. Um, well, we'll take the air for the fate anyway. Uh, I need to lose an honor as well for not defending. Yeah, no problem. As was pointed out by Sparks. Okay, so you've done air. Okay, I will bow my strongholds to bow a guy. Oh no, he's Not too. Hurt. He's got too much. Did see him? Yeah. Ah. So now I only have five. Six. Six. Which Six. Is... Oh, I'm winning. I'm still winning. I I pass. Oh no. You played played cool. Uh, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> You know yeah, what you do now, Gola. <laughs> <laughs> My hand! I love how it falls so much further than it should. <laughs> you flipped it through the world. <clears throat> You're gonna bow and tell the earphone to tell the girls, yeah? What's that? Well, you got a natural 20 in your strength check. That's uh, quite good so far. 18. Pretty good. Uh, yeah. So, that was a game. <laughs> it certainly was. Uh, so, what what happened? Provinces were exchanged? Provinces were exchanged. At the end... It was funny, I, I lost because he didn't change the <laughs> battle type, and I've got <laughs> no way of boosting uh, uh, all my thing. It was an ill-considered first attack, but that's that's the way of it. Which one? My one? No, no, his first attack. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah I, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was, absolutely, there was no justification for that attack at all. Yeah, it's re it's fascinating game. I really enjoyed that. So, so I mean, obviously, we're, we're suffering because the, the, the card selection, oh, yeah. uh, the, the range of that, cards is really... That active, wandering but... yeah. Ronan sat there for quite a while, um, and I've seen on the forums a couple of people point out how, how great he is. So what, he's, what was happening there? He's so, really expensive. Uh, he's also very vulnerable to any bow effect to cloud the mind. Uh, he's, he's... And I mean, particularly, if you do him early, like we had a game, me and Baz, where I think first turn, Baz built him with like three fate. And I cloud the mind at him, and I was like, oh, that's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Two two for the rest of the game. Okay. Um. Yeah, he's a bit of a hit or miss. Yeah, and I think the fact that there were but, so few. But he has the ability to chomp provinces oh. on his own, which is not. Uh, and can do so, and can do either military or political, which is kind yeah, of different. pretty important. Um, and it's a card that can go in every deck. So we might be seeing a lot more of that wandering running. And um, we hopefully will see a few more political cards coming up in this uh, Wednesday. Crane video, release, yeah. We'll be talking about the crane. If we're lucky, we'll see some dual actions as well, which could make things a little bit more interesting. I mean, I think also the uh, the hand side, like, I've got, what, uh, 11 cards in hand? Uh, and I wonder, is... You know, that makes you think you don't need to have quite such a big handle all the time, because you need to have 
the options, but you're never going to be able to play quite that many of them. I feel. And I've got, I've doubled up quite a lot here. Yeah, but I mean, yeah, I think you know, once you've got once you, once we have all the cards, like the the game will change completely because at the yeah. moment it, it's just you know you draw your hand and it's nothing but weapons and force boosts as far as yeah. as far as the eye can see. Yeah, and half your hand uh, costs space, which yeah, you don't costs, really want to spend. Yeah, which, which is, you don't have. Yeah, which which has been very interesting. The should we be holding on to more fate or not? I'm yeah. I, I gather that again from that article by Tom Bokrasu that uh, we will see at least one um, do, 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 uh, personality or character card in the conflict deck for each clan. Um, I think there was some reasoning behind one of the clans not looking like they were going to get one just because of the number count. Uh, but uh, that's only going to be three in the deck, maybe six if you're getting in the other uh, personality or the other clans. Being able to hold on to that fate and not spend it that turn, but still be assured that you can drop that personality exactly when you yeah. want, I think is great. Yeah, no, that's it's very, very powerful. I yeah, think like any of the cards that are free are going to be worth two looks in any day. Yeah, I agree. Just because you can you can go, I'll drop out cards this time. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, and play them. I mean, the downside there is that the the cards that cost zero probably aren't going to be all that powerful, so you could find yourself bleeding out on honor as your your hand kind of collapses in the the later game. Bonsai and the Fine Katana both seem pretty good, though. But... Yeah, I mean Bonsai seems you could almost. Uh, I was debating this with a guy about three of an. Is there going to be three Bonsai in every deck? Um, yeah, I think initially, yeah, but that's yeah. fine. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. I mean, you know, a year down the road, once you know, no, absolutely, you know, then there'll be. But uh, and just for context, I always just find it interesting to check when we finish the game. We're live an hour twenty five minutes. Uh, obviously that was slow for various reasons. Um, but you start to feel like forty five to ninety minutes is uh, yeah, not unreasonable. Not unreasonable. I think tournament games would probably like, because that was only what three turns, four maybe. Uh, no, so I took. I think we, I took so one I each turn and then failed. The thing is, you were both playing the Unicorn Province, which yeah, yeah, you're not going to see if you see that in the uh... no. But I mean, <laughs> that was that was a province. I think in both cases, it was going to be taken, right? It was both. Uh, you it depends what he had. He didn't defend it, though. The, that was first turn. turn, he had no defenders, right? Yeah. So you were four strength, so you might have broken it if it was, like... Yeah, I would have. I had cards and had, like, Banzai in hand and stuff, so... Yeah, grabbing two grabbing isn't that hard. Um, it also really discourages attacking with just one guy. You you need your um, your crab scout to sacrifice to it. Yeah, yeah. I think that was actually three turns. The first turn I bid was it three honor. The second turn I bid five. The fourth, no, sorry, the third turn we tied at four all. Yeah, that sounds right. So half an hour yeah. turn. <laughs> Ish. And with the current card pool, I'm not seeing honor or dishonor anyway. Off no. That that said, we've seen a time. Yeah, I think I think yeah. I think we'll be a lot closer to. I want to see game, them well. demo this game at Gen Con. Wow. Um, but, like, uh, you're probably going to see a turn if you play the same thing. But what, what yeah. a turn? <laughs> the, I mean, the, the back There's a, so much to talk about and to think about. Yeah, yeah. the conflicts had lots of back and forth. There were decisions to be made. It did look like there were a couple of moments there that were. Like that, that choosing not to defend and getting away with it, uh, pretty much won you that game, Justin. I think. But yep. throughout yep. that game, there were little small things that were happening, like being able to keep that uh, lines pride broader around with oh, another yeah. card and another card and <clears throat> and another. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I, I should have. Uh, I think I had the opportunity to clear the mind that guy a turn earlier, which I should have done in retrospect. 
Because uh, that ability is just awesome. And I think it is some. Just looking at this game, I think it is possible to kind of go back and see moments where maybe you could have made better decisions. Definitely, but I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't necessarily see big, conclusive uh, no, turning it... points, which I think is good because it means you can kind of work on it, but you can't screw up so bad that you can't win it back. Yeah, well, I mean, one of the one of the problems with certainly the old version of Five Rings was, you know, you you, you declare an attack on someone, and it just so happens that they have six playable battle actions in their hand and they're all the best battle actions in their deck and you just lose yeah. right there i mean it's it's like it's a pure variance thing and you just get crushed um and variance seems to play a much smaller role in this game so far yeah I mean, maybe it's maybe it... more refined than you know that the variance does start to show like that the really powerful cards like the um, the betrayal one is it the one that steals uh the blackmail Blackmail. I mean, cards like that could completely flip a game. So, um, yeah. I mean, well, there's a couple things that I really like. I wouldn't. I feel uh, conflicts feel like battles in L five or the sort of back and forth swinginess of it feels yeah. very familiar to me. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, and it definitely feels like you can look back and think of things you could have done differently but to your point you know someone was talking about oh I look, they were looking forward to building some decks just by themselves and running them through through and it just feels like unlike say l5 or decks or some sorts of uh say magic decks where you can always just play by yourself to see how well the deck runs the yeah. game is just so interactive <laughs> you can't yeah. learn very much from that that yeah, you need to that. be responding and adapting constantly um, because before you'd look at your dynasty and you'd be like, okay, I make this, I get this amount of force. Yeah, but, th this sort of holdings means I kind of get this sort of gold level, and then you know these are the sort yeah. of guys I can build. There's a, a, a lot more reactions going on based on what your opponents just revealed on their provinces. Exactly. And um, now, right now in this current card pool, four is a magic number. If you're attacking with four strength, you're breaking that province unless something else happens. We have seen a five floating around, but we haven't seen much more than that. I think it was a crab card. No, no, it wasn't. It was an unaligned ancestral problem. Uh, that might change things slightly. Yeah. Just a bigger province makes a difference when it can just randomly pop up. And looking yeah, at the provinces. Seen a few fives in the spoilers. Basically, go, yeah, it's, you know, you're not guaranteed. Yeah, yeah, just to, to keep things fair. I guess no one's able to get that magic number and then just go across. The fact that they're they're randomized is is great. You're never quite sure what you're going into. And um, someone did suggest just getting out those Ruma scouts just so you can throw them at those provinces and see what they are before you actually mount a proper attack, which I think was a, a very cool idea. Yeah. Um, I I, I, mean, I I've... go on. I don't know. No, fire now fun. something I'm just really curious to see is after the uh the gen con tournament uh how people get on with you know seven or eight hours of this because it's very intense decision making there's a lot of thinking going on um and i, I think, think we'll automate some processes as we get more experience we'll absolutely like, oh, yeah we have yeah, a rough yeah, yeah. formula for efficiency on guys it's generally like if the guy costs one you probably put no fade on him. If the guy costs two, you put one most of the time. If the guy costs three, you usually put two. And it's basically like that the whole way along. And you just go, like, well, we put on what we get yeah. value at, you know? Although, I have to say, though, in the the penultimate, well, even in the final turn, uh, the second last turn in the final turn, well, <laughs> turn to, turns two and three, um, <laughs> like you have to make some really serious decisions <laughs> as to how is this game going to play out and how is it going to end. Hmm. Um, because again, I mean, I'm starting to wonder now, like if because if I had put out guys, um, yeah, with with kind of one and two fate with you know one one well one or zero fate on them, just to basically to bring the the, the game to uh, to try and bring the game to a close quickly, and all of a sudden, um, Cola just goes, actually, no, I'm not declaring any, uh, I'm not declaring any challenges. I'm just going to defend yours, and you're going to bounce off me. Um, you're not going to break any provinces. Yeah. Then all and of a sudden, like, there's... yeah, oh, and then you're just like, oh, well, mm. so it no, I, 
Yeah. A fascinating game. Really like it so far. Definitely feels I, like actually a lot of the time in the conflict stage, you don't want to be the first uh, person to declare. No, no uh, you don't. Although for for Dragon, there, that's obviously there's a bit of an incentive there to uh, with rings and unclaimed stuff um, helps. Oh, one, one thing I have found with this is because of the subtleties of it, because of how complex the decisions are, if you just make those plays with confidence while having no idea what's going on, no one can tell the difference. 